Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You're listening to the Muddy Roots. Hey, Horn. <laughs> <laughs> this is Muddy Roots. Muddy Roots. Woohoo! Hit that like button. You know what time it is. What time? Let's take a cup. Well, you guys know, <laughs> as you guys can see, <laughs> Ryan is not here today. <laughs> but we have a special guest on the podcast. He is one of the boys. Some call him a dad. Some call him my cousin. But I like to call him my friend. <laughs> Give it up for Mona. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. Right, let's take a cup. What an intro, bro. That's an intro, That's an intro for sure. Man. Mona, thank you for joining us, man. How you feeling? How you doing? Feeling good. Feeling good. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. Tell us a little bit something about yourself. Okay. Uh, well, for starters, I feel like um, I've been making music since I was in seventh grade, I want to say, is when I really started writing music. I think um, once I started actually performing, it was like my ninth grade year, so like 2000, 2008, 2009. Okay. And you were actually performing. Yeah. So, I, like, when I say performing, like, I, I'd enter stuff like the school talent show or um, any opportunity. I still count that. Yeah. That's yeah, performing so. in front of crowds. So. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Sweet. Well, before we dive too deep into it, uh, I feel like we should play a, just a warm-up game. Just whose lyric is it? And Let's we'll just, all right. do it. We'll test yeah. your, your knowledge of the industry, my guy. Golly. <laughs> so, right here? Seven out of ten. Um, let's see. All right. So the okay, first, first lyric, one, first one who gets it. Yeah, okay. you have to go ding, 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 and I'll and I'll point to you. Okay. You have to give us give us a chance because I know you know music. Hey, like you that. might think I I know or I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, I tried like to keep that. it a little bit more mainstream and popular. But. Yeah, because okay. I know he knows music, so it's like. Um, but it is uh, related to hip hop, so okay. just to, okay. don't think country, don't think hippity hoppity. Yeah. Nice. All right, so. <clears throat> The first one is, and bonus points if you can get the artist and the, or I guess the song. Okay. But uh, I bomb atomically, Socrates, philosophies, and hypotheses. Can't define how I'd be dropping Eminem. these mockeries. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Lyrically perform armed robbery, fleet with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. They are, they're in a group. It's a, um, yeah. Is that Wu-Tang Clan? That is Wu-Tang Clan. Wu -Tang. Yeah, that is Wu-Tang Clan. The next one is... Rolling down the street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice, um, laid back. Snoop Dogg. It is Snoop Dogg. That Dog. is uh, rolling down the street, sipping on gin and juice. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sing the whole song. Way to go. Yeah. <laughs> I know you get one. All right. And then the next one is. I can hear sweat trickling down your cheek. Your heartbeat sound like Sasquatch feet Ooh. thundering and shaking concrete. Baby. Biggies. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. You know the song? Um, who shot you? Who shot you? Mm. All right. This one's a lot for Billy right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next, next to, to getting, getting kitty. Meow, meow. <laughs> 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 Wait, this is only for me? I mean, yeah, you should have done you know? It's Tupac, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. It is, it is Tupac. I was oh, sweating sir, right yes, there. Sir. It's actually Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> you know the song? No. We won't even put you on spot. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't know it. I only All listen right. to Morbin Tabernacle. GC <laughs> <laughs> um, <PC> Weekend. <laughs> All right. And then this one is... Uh, I just want to know if you know this one because I think it's one of the greatest ones. But safe sex is great sex. Better use the late text. No, Wayne. No, because you, yes. Let me oh, finish my yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. My sorry. favorite yeah, one. Let's just. <laughs> oh, I'll erase middle. that from my memory. <laughs> good job, good job. Right. So you're not going to finish the bar? I don't know that one. No, you got to really? finish the bar. No. Oh, safe sex is it. great sex. 
Better use a latex because you don't want that latex. That oops, I think I'm latex. Dang. Come on, bro. You think he wrote that thing? It was like, oh, yeah, they're going to go crazy. You seen that <laughs> interview? <laughs> he was another like, bar to him. Oh, true. He was like, I didn't even. That's yeah, he's me. like, oh, then that's me. He, the way he reacted, he's like, ooh, ooh. Like, this is your song. He's like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm scoring. That's, how, on that's that. how I know he'd be freestyling <laughs> like that. All right. And then this is the bonus. Uh, Round. Here we All go. All right. Hey, we're chilling and vibing is what we do. Come drink with us and enjoy this. Damn. Damn. Rob, Ryan, Dude, this shit go hard though, low key. What is this? <laughs> we can go to viewers all across, across the way. way. <laughs> so follow us a good time and you know every day. <laughs> Love and respect <laughs> is the only way. way. Wow. On the train and just behave. I don't know. Love y'all. Excited for what's, what's to come. Oh, yeah. Hope you're ready. This goes hard though, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never meant to rap. Hey, let him know. I can't be. <laughs> Absolute. Working on our crap like a girl who's working glutes. Doing what we want, cause yeah, this, this is Muddy Roots. Hey, and then adjusted open space, man, with no judgment. Got a kilo with a buggy, does that's how we do. Yeah, mixing kava and it's lava. Did some jokes about your mama. Yo. It's all good, cause we still love you from some faded dudes. And I'm cut it. Muddy Roots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm These shot colors got me feeling like shit. Yeah, wolf is too Oh, fish. I cut the song. Cut. I don't like it. <laughs> so, <Brah. laughs> so who? <laughs> Who is that from? <laughs> Bonus points. Who is that? Uh oh. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, man's after my neck right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, we dabble in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. We perform like something like, something like that, you know. Just a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. Ten months ago, we produced that bad boy. You know, something light. It's on Spotify? Something light. Oh, yeah. It's on, yeah. It's on Spotify. How many views you got on Spotify? Oh, don't do that to us. That's crazy. <laughs> it's on Spotify. It's no. on. <laughs> but this is not about us. This is about you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's about about your special music. guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, flipping the script. <laughs> <laughs> what first got you into music? Um, I think just to be honest, um, I think in all seriousness, it was <gasps> my uncle Fresco that got me into music. Um, he's the one that kind of spent. Because I was tone deaf, to be honest. Like, me and my and my cousin Angie, we didn't even know how to sing. So he kind of broke that down for us over the years. And I think once I realized, like, oh, I think I could do this, like, as a career, I think that's when, like, at a young age, I I, um, I felt like he's the one that set that tone for me. That's tight. That's tight, bro. Yeah. That's hella tight. So you say he's the one that inspired you to make your music and kind of the... <clears throat> the direction that it took you to start making music? Oh, yeah. I think he's, like, probably the biggest backbone. Uh, but I don't think I realized it at the time. I think, because um, there was times where we'd be practicing, and he'd be, like, over it. He'd be like, bro, you were so off. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> happening, but, like, we'll try this again tomorrow. I'll be like, all right. So I think going from that and to, like, um, sorry, what was your uh, original question? Just... He, so he was the one that inspired you to make uh, music and kind of help you hone in those those talents. Yeah, I believe so. Um, and I think he's the one that kind of saw like potential in that too, because he he actually came out. Um, a lot of people don't even know this, but like in my own hometown, um, we kind of wrote a song together, and he would come and like perform with me at like the homecoming dances or like the girls' prep. And so a lot of people knew him for that. Like, oh, that's Mona's uncle. So it's like. We got to um, and we got to travel with him to go, go to like uh, watch him DJ, like help him set up equipment and stuff like that too. So, you yeah. said that was in your hometown or his hometown, or were they the same? So yeah, but like um, so his kids, so like Rory and Riley and them, they were living in Tooele. Like you know, you live oh, so uh, up close north. to them. Mm, yeah, okay. so up north in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. Um, and he would go when Riley was, I think she was SBO or something like that. But I don't know what that is. Um, student body officer, oh, okay. like for the school, mm. um, and so she was in charge of like the dances and stuff like that. So he would always go out there and 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 DJ the dances, and so we just sag with him. That's and, what's up. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. That is tough. <laughs> how would you how would you describe the the music that you typically create? Like, is it more of like hip hop, R and B, a little mix, uh, mixture of both? 
Yeah, I think um, I try to stick more to R&B uh, rather than hip hop. I think everybody thinks they're a rapper. I think I'm a rapper too sometimes <laughs> where I think, oh, this is fire. And then. Yeah, I mean, I, you heard our, you know, some little sample. <laughs> we're all rappers. So well, I feel cool. like, bro, that, that's pretty good for two hours. A lot of people can't even do that in, in a day. So, yeah, give you guys some credit. Hey, <laughs> round of applause for you guys. Oh, <laughs> good luck. I'm saying. But I think, yeah, the, the music that I try to typically uh, create is like hip hop, I think, or uh, R&B. I think that's like where my foundation lies as an artist. Yeah, you yeah. look like an R&B kind of guy. Like I, <laughs> yeah. I, I look at you and I, I feel like if you were to perform, you're singing, you're not rapping. That's yeah. how I look at you. I don't know. I see you and I look at you and I'm like, oh, if it's raining, I'm bumping that stuff and yeah, so exactly. dancing in exactly. the street. Yeah, older two thousand. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, see that little song there. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Uh, uh, we haven't even asked what what is your music name? What do, what do you go by? How so, can people find you? For the longest time, I went by Prince Moans. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> why tight, I came dude. up with that. And like, so who's King Moans? <laughs> The older me, so love in the future. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah, I gotta uh, elevate into that. No, so I used to go by Prince Bones. I don't even know why I, I thought that was cool. But, like, it's a joke now, because, like, whenever, like, my uncle see me or, like, my cousin see me, like, hey, Prince Bones. Like, they have me in their phone as, like, Prince Bones. So I'm You're like, in my phone as Prince Bones. So I feel like my family calls me that, like... Bro, yeah, well, yeah, you've known me forever, so, and we are family, so, it's like, everybody in there, and I'm surprised, I'm like, why, like, I, ha I hate that name, to be honest, I don't even know why I thought of that, but. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, I dropped the Prince and just went with M-O-N-Z, Moans, okay. um, and a lot of people, I don't even, I hated the word, I hated the name Monza, like, a lot of people call me, um, my close, uh, my family, the Bernards, they called me, they started calling me Monza. I was Bones like, I, I just started rocking with it for for years, and so um, I think this year I'm rebranding myself. Um, I'm coming out as Nine Fo, uh, oh, ninety four. Um, that's my gamer tag too. So <laughs> you see me out. Right. It, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, all right. Yeah. So this year I'm coming out as Nine Four. Um, <clears throat> so I'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is real raw, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, We're not live. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> that, I, I, I knew something like that was going to happen, bro. Yeah. You could have just rolled past it. We would have yeah. said nothing. And now, because y'all would have been like... <laughs> Y'all hear that noise that he just made? <laughs> what was that? What a noise he just made? He said something. It's good. It's good. It's good. Well, was that a gas for air? <laughs> oh... It's the cover. It's the Sorry, cover. but I'm nervous. No, you're good, no, bro. You're Loosen good. up. You're good. Uh, you talked about this year you're doing some rebranding. What does that look like for you? Um, I think it's it looks like just dropping more music and just not being afraid to drop it. I think uh, as an artist, you get, uh, at least for me, I get so worried about what other people think of my music um, because mm -hmm. I... I care about my creation so much i don't just want to throw it out there sure um but i have like so many songs i, I just haven't released or haven't bothered to work on because I, I i stopped myself and so i think this year is just being more transparent with my fans and thank goodness you know i've had some fans die off throughout the years but there's there's still a handful of people that are still waiting for me to drop music so um, I think just, you know, holding on to them and, and really doing that for the right reasons um, um, is, is what I would say, yeah. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. So what's the what's the um, the process like for making music? Like, do you typically write your lyrics first? Do you make a beat? Do you have it all in your head? Or, like, what comes first? Um, I used to write a lot. Um, when I was younger, I used to... Uh, it used to be the pen to the to the pad. I feel like that's like like the OG way of just right, right, doing right. things is like um, like the ice cube way. Kind yeah, of, you know? it's like having notebooks full of, uh, of, of lyrics. lyrics. So I used to have notebooks full of lyrics, bro. That I've just like lost. So so many lyrics just lost because like I just don't bother to go back and focus on it because I'm 
I'm always writing down. Mm-hmm. So it's like, um, I'm sorry. What, what was uh, like? Do you do you write your lyrics down first? Do you make your beats first and then write the lyrics? Or yeah, I think now uh, I've I've kind of adapted to the to the times. Um, Tory Lanez, I feel like, was really big on um, recording as you go. Um, cause he would do those live IG sessions where he would, right. he, the fans would help him record and he would just, he would make a hit just like that. And so I think, um, and I was talking to Baymax, shout out Baymax, <laughs> um, Las Vegas. Um, but he's a, he's another poly artist and he started recording like that. Um, he adapted to that process. And I think now in a time where it's like, you got to compete and, keep on like pushing out music you have to drop like that you have to record like that mm-hmm. it can't just always be your pen and your pad and so okay. i think um in that way adapting to the times has kind of helped me in a sense where when i'm in the studio and i just want to start fresh brand new and just see what comes of it like i feel like more music has come more naturally and um that way than if i were to just start from a lyric you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. okay. i could write a lyric down um, and feel something in that moment and then come back a day later and feel completely different and then the song turns into a completely different song. But I mean, that that's how I look at it. That makes but, a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> With um, you produce your own music too, right? I like to say I do. I think uh, <laughs> I'm a producer like in my head, credit. but it's like when I take it, it's like when I'm a rapper, like when I take it to someone that actually produces, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm going to leave that to you. So I think um, for the most part, if I have an idea in my head, um, I'll go to GarageBand and, and do like a light rough draft of what I want it to sound like. And then boom, I'll take it to um like the engineers and and they'll be like all right this is what you want it to sound like and so yeah i think yeah as long as you get that rough sketch of this is what i've wanted to do they can fine tune it and polish it up and yeah okay yeah they can pretty much expand on that so it's not like um i don't go there and cuz i feel like a lot of people go to um like sound en- engineers and they don't get a full effect of you know what they want to create and so they end up making it their own sound. Um, but I think the the team that I've built or that um, has been, that I've met along the way, um, they've been able to um, build around my strengths and, and lift up my weaknesses so that the sound sounds, the song sounds more full. It sounds more from me. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Dude, that's so. what's up. Yeah, man. So um, <laughs> that kind of is a good segue into my next question of uh, through your your musical career have you developed uh people who you typically would turn to if they were to produce your music or if you were to you know what i mean like when you're when you get to that point do you have people that you've met that you you would go to normally hey where the cameras hey shout out the village one time can we get a round of applause for the village all right right. (laughs) hey yes sir for the village um so the village is um so me and my brother KB's, um, you know him. He, he lived here a couple years back. Yeah. But so my brother and I, um, we kind of started um, a group full of artists. So it's kind of like Moon Gang, but on a on a smaller scale. Um, but basically, those are kind of the people I turn to, you know, when um, like with music and stuff like that. You know, when I want it to sound this way or I want it to be tweaked this way, like. It goes straight to them. I don't even, I don't even dabble with that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, bro. KB's man. <laughs> I be quoting some of his stuff Dude, sometimes. Bro, yeah, because um, so, so uh, I first heard of KB's when I was kicking it with him, and uh, he showed me like this video, and he was just like, "Hey, do you have you heard of this song?" And I played it, and I was just like, "Bro, that like it's a banger." And he goes, "Yeah, that's that's my bro. That's KB." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh shoot!" Started listening to it, and I was just like, "I think I have one of his." A couple of his songs on my SoundCloud, yeah, and bro, it it just gets me going. Yeah, he did the. Uh, I think it was the Ten Toes Down challenge, and he did the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the video that he showed me. What did he say? Uh, I'm a fat boy. Y'all can call me Rogue at the Leak. Hooks <laughs> like, mm, yeah, Bone Apple T. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, oh, dude, <laughs> freaking. Even the he's like, drop a body just so I'm gonna do this yeah. shit. I was like, bro, 
I'll be walking by CC sometimes. I'm like, drop a bike. <laughs> 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 huh? Yeah, shout out KB. Yes, what? sir. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, man, it's all love. Oh, man. Yeah. That right dude on. right there. Insane. So how, how many songs do you have out? And what is your favorite one? I accidentally have um, one song out. So I did have like three songs out, but I took um, two songs off of SoundCloud and just left the one up there. So um, just one song out. And then my favorite song that I've written. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, probably the one that I performed the most with my uncle. Um, it's called The Definition of Love. And I actually made that song for a benefit CD um, at my high school Ooh. to raise money for some um charity we were donating to so um that was like the first actual cd like i made it on to um that was able to hear myself so um uh, yeah do you have that cd still no um oh. my boy adam turley he has it somewhere shout out adam turley <laughs> um but he's he's big in music now he's all certified on everything and like he just dropped elevated music out on all platforms go check that out I yeah. mess with um, elevator music. Too. Really? Yeah. I like it's soothing, it's calm. Yeah, bro. Wait. Is the song called Elevator Music or is, or it, is it Elevator like Music elevator that you music. listen to? Oh no, the song sorry. The song is called <laughs> <laughs> The the no, name no, 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 the that, name yeah. of the song is Elevator yeah, that, Music. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. <laughs> I actually fuck with elevator music. It's so calm, bro. Yo, hey. And then watch this so calm. Hey, that song is elevator. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's hype. I'm so glad you love elevator music. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hate Ooh. elevators now. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. That's hilarious. No, <laughs> elevator music is Call Me Bill. I'll give you that. Yikes. <laughs> we knew what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you sent in a song for us to play, right? Oh, yeah. And this song is unreleased. Yeah, so it's part of a, a project I've been working on. I was actually supposed to drop it last year, but um, things are kind of hard because the studio I record at is in Lehigh, and um, I live here in St. George, so um, this year we'll find some time to really... Um, Lock in on that um, project and get that release. Right on. Okay. Do you have a title for this song? Um, I just I named it Retro Love the before I even wrote the song. Oh, really? Yeah. So I kind of just built around that. And then what was cool is so this song is like probably like twenty percent done. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like a quick rough draft of what it what, what we wanted to sound like, but um, it sounds completely different from what I wanted it to sound like. Um, so when we got in the studio, kind of the village, um, like the, the engineers, uh, Vels and LJ um, and Kay, they kind of helped me like bulk the song up. So they kind of helped me put the song on steroids and open my mind to different possibilities of what the song could sound like. And so, mm, okay. yeah, so this is kind of a mix of what can happen. And this was only like, I'd say like five hours. And so I didn't even get to record everything I wanted to that night, but really, um, yeah, this is pretty much what we got, what we were able to get done in 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 a little bit of time. So okay, cool. okay. Well, Let's check we'll it out. Go ahead and yeah, put that on right now. Dude. That's tight, bro. Did you do that? Oh, shit. No, so this is actually... Hey, I'm giving my secrets away, but I, I dug deep to find this beat on YouTube. Oh, so you'll good. find this beat on YouTube. I don't know how... Uh, but when I first found it, there was only a couple hundred likes on it, so I had to snag it. Bro, yeah. that, bro. that beat goes yeah. hard, bro. So he posted this on his Instagram, right? And... I you were like, yeah, you were like the first person to hit me need, up. Yeah, I was like, I need this song. This is my summer vibes. 
because I can just picture just walking to the to the cliffs where we uh, look yeah. at the lake, and this it's just a freaking vibe. Wow, no, that that is a vibe, bro. It's got some that. some. Z- I don't want to play too much. Like Zap and Roger. It's not. not <laughs> yet, but, um, yeah, that's got some Zap and Roger feel to yeah. it. A little bit of. Do, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Um, how did you do your voice that way? Is it is it done on a soundboard or did you old no, school so, shell a tube in your? Cheeks? No, I actually. What, what's crazy about that is like. Um, Al J at the time he was he's a big he's a big dude but he was sitting there like dude like put that like swag in it like make your voice like that I'm like bro I never really sing sing like that before he like try it so I had to get up get your money right like I had to I had to dig deep and like really it's yeah tap tight. into that it's so still tight. yeah so there's no modifications to your voice in that song. No, so there is. There he I think he uses like a talk box effect talk box effect mm-hmm. uh to it, but like I don't even know how much effect is on that, yeah. to be honest. And but, the talk box, that's the one that Zap and Roger uses, right? Yeah. With the tube in the mouth. Yeah. That's cool, man. That is I like that. Yeah, that's sweet. All right. So if you were to venture out in your music career, who would you like want to collab with? Oh man, that's tough. I think that's so tough because you have like local artists. Right. Like, I mean, KB's is still like, I mean, hands down, he's my favorite artist. And I don't say that to be biased. Like, I say that because I've, I've listened to a lot of artists. Right. And the things that I've watched him go through personally, like, he's someone I really want to collab with. Um, we actually have a song called Summer or Summer Vibes. It's actually called Summer Vibes. Um, and it's I need like, it now. Yeah. It's called Summer Vibes, Walking to the Rock. Walking <laughs> <laughs> to the Cliff. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's supposed to be on the on the album, but um, KB's is definitely someone I want to collab with. Um, Bobby, Bobby B. Meg, Venom Moon. Um, I've been talking to their younger brother. Um, he makes music too. Um, dang, he's slipping my mind right now, but. That's the we first. We gonna come back to it. Okay, that's the first time that you've said album. So is this an album dropping, or is it gonna be a single? No. So this is gonna be a, an actual album. Okay. Um, and this one's actually dedicated to uh, my brother Fasa, who had passed um, a couple of years back. Um, and his like his his YouTube username was Foss Season. And if y'all know like Foss, like he was really big about his music, like. He would he would go hours and hours like through SoundCloud and YouTube to try to find music mm. nobody's ever heard of, mm. just so it could be like oh let me put you on. Mm. So <laughs> yeah, like that. Dang. Uh, what I like. Cup? Yeah. Let's take a cup. What I like about this is because uh, like you have polys that that make reggae music. You have polys that that rap like um, Young Go, Tossy One K, yeah. all those guys, but. I mean, this is the the only time that you. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I've n- not really heard a lot of like R and B poly artists, yeah. and so that's why I I mess with it a lot. Like you and uh, KB, that's what I like. But um, if you could go open a show for any artist, who would it be? Dang, any artist? If I could open, um, I mean. To be honest, I've always wanted to open for Chris Brown. I've always wanted to share the stage with Chris Brown. Dude, that'd be tight. Um, A lot of people don't know. Like, I love choreography. I love dancing. Um, So, I think a lot of people think, you know, I'd be um, shooting myself in the foot by doing that. But, like, you think about... So, there's so many Polynesian... um, talent in the industry mm-hmm. that is like even like Hefa Tuita like he was one of his backup dancers he was Tongan or he is Tongan um, but he was his backup dancer for a little bit Chris Brown's? yeah yeah oh, there's wow. some um, I think I want to say there was a concert that Chris Brown did and I think he held up a Psalm 1 flag in one of his concerts uh, yeah he was repping the poly movement for a yeah, little bit for a little okay. bit so yeah. um, his backup dancers they, they made a song forgot what the song is I'd have to look it up but um, it's an older one, and I'm pretty sure if I play it, you guys would know. But I just have to look it up. Yeah. But yeah, um, those, like it's just it's three guys. They're all brothers, 
and they were his love back- me always yeah that one that's right love so me. yeah that those are the brothers i'm talking about oh that that's yeah. the names dude the two each of brothers yeah, yeah. yeah i think that, yeah those guys are definitely like pioneers um in the music scene as far as like utah goes i feel like in the polynesian community because yeah they hit it pretty early oh like, yeah i remember mm-hmm. listening to them in like elementary and, really uh, yeah, oh, yeah my dad used to make us like listen to them and try to hit them because i have two brothers <laughs> as well so there's three of us bro my dad used to like and if you hit, we're off no he just slap you and make oh. you do it again yeah. he said look you yeah you can yeah. 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 be you three <laughs> I still know that, like, it's the whole music video, everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because my, uh, one of my cousins, she's, like, uh, half, like, so she was busiaki into our family, mm-hmm. and she's actually related to them. Like, that's oh, those yeah. are her biological brothers, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I've seen them, like, at family reunions and, and stuff like that, or, like, uh, my uncle passed away, or, what, a few months ago, and, and they showed up. To like support and stuff, so yeah. So now I gotta ask, your dad made you try to you know harmonize like them. Did you guys ever harmonize like them? I mean, if you want me, to <clears throat> love me. Oh, oh, you did it. Yeah. So you see, I, mean, you I wish your dad was here to slap you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> "What are you adjusting?" <laughs> no, that was very really brave of you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh. No, yeah. No. I never was a good singer. <laughs> it's a, it's fine. We all we're all good at our things, man. But yeah. let's turn it up. <laughs> so uh, if you ever want to collab, bro, I'm down to collab. Hey, no, that. we. You ain't said it. You haven't hey, said much. Did. This. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> no? Yeah, he he saves it just let's for those moments. Yeah. That was great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But Mona, you seem really passionate about your music and uh, the things that you do to make it unique. Um, so, what's one message you would give to your fans? Um, I think at the end of the day, um, just don't give up. I know that sounds so cliche because everybody um, that's chasing something will say that not to give up. But really, like when you when your back is against the wall and it's really just you. That's that's really like when it matters. That's really when it counts. And a lot of people give up, and a lot of people, and, and I have. I've fallen short of that plenty of times. I'm still trying to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Um, but trust your vision, um, and it may not make sense, you know, to a lot of people. Um, but as long as you know it makes sense to you, and you're doing it for a bigger purpose other than yourself, um, and it benefits everybody in the end, then uh, you'll I be like straight. That. Yeah, I like, I like that. that. It's not something that you can perfect, right? I right. Mean, you're no. you're gonna be tested time and time again. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean that. That's yeah. good advice. Well, and I sure. also think like as an artist, it's like your confidence. You have to be like you can't give up because, like you're saying with your music, like you're putting yourself out there. You're putting like your thoughts, your opinions, in into music, and you have to stand by it. And you can have a lot of people be like, "Oh, this sucks" or whatever, and they don't see like. You put your heart and soul into it. So exactly. There's times you got to like really just know who you are and like, this is me. Like mm-hmm. I made this and mm-hmm. I'm good with it. Yeah, stuff. that mm-hmm. is true. That's true. <clears throat> you've, you've probably said it before, but um, I just want to like um, dabble back into it. So where have you performed and is there your is there a favorite venue or a least favorite that, you, that, that you've performed in? No, I don't think I have a least favorite venue. Um, I think every venue I've been in, I try to create the most of that opportunity. Right. I feel like uh, my first show was at Kilby Court um, in Salt Lake. Um, I feel like that's where a lot of like up and coming artists um, go and perform. But I was in like ninth grade at the time, and I had performed my first show. Uh, my boy Adam Turley, that I was telling you guys about earlier, mm-hmm. he invited me. We had uh, we wrote a song and performed it that night. So that was my first show. Um, I've done the complex. Um, I've done a lot of school shows, um, like talent shows and stuff like that. Um, but I would say I feel like the complex is probably um, my favorite place um, to perform. I feel like out here, I'm trying to test the waters out here. We can. I feel like we can get into that a little bit later. But Tuacon is um, I kind of off subject. But I've never performed there. But I've been to Tuacon. 
And I want to sell that place out, to be honest. Well, you've you seen yeah. that they're bringing a new event center here to St. George. Oh, you know yeah, a little bit did. about that, oh, right? Oh, my goodness, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up. That was my segue. <laughs> That's all I knew. I only knew that they're bringing it here. Yeah, it's over. It's gonna be by two o'clock though, and it's like, oh really? Yeah, it's a big old thing. I think what twenty five thousand seats or something it's like not that. that funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's supposed to have like twenty five thousand seats in it, and then it's a. Uh, I think it has a hotel with oh. it as well. Oh. And I, what I've heard, and these are all rumors. I. I don't quote me. You're on but, the council, though. They yeah, tell you things. Yeah. So, like, the mayor told me himself. Just kidding. <laughs> but that the Jazz has their preseason schedule will be played down here. So, yeah. a lot of okay. their preseason NBA games will be down here in Southern Utah. Right on. So, that would be tight. Yes, sir. That would be cool. Yeah. Do you have a, what you call, like, a dream uh, stage you want to perform on? Like, out in Vegas, out in Cali, like, the Hola Hola Fest? Um a dream stage. Island reggae or whatever. I mean, I don't really have a dream stage. I thought for the longest time I always wanted to be like a part of the Grammys, but Okay. Um we all see what's going on on that side of the world in Hollywood. <laughs> so it's a like, no go for me over there. No ditty, You're talking no like ditty. P. Diddy and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No There's a lot oh. of politics that go into that, but um I think the stage I really do want to hit is uh the Washington uh, County Fair. Mm, I really, okay. I really want to. I, I want to get to know St. George. So, and yeah, let St. George get to know you. Yeah, in a sense. Sir. Bars. I like uh, that. Well, Gang. no, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the County Fair, um, and really, like, I want to tap in with every open mic, every show possible. Yeah, that's tight. That's so, tight. What's kind of like your end goal with the music stuff? Like, where are you wanting to get? Are you wanting to, you know, be as big as some of those names listed earlier? Or you want to kind of still stay pretty low-key and just, like, be able to talk to your stuff? Like, where are you kind of going with all of it? Um, well, I think um, my vision with that has kind of changed since, you know, now that I'm a, a dad and um, a husband. Mm, so it's kind of um, what, I, what I wanted, you know, seven eight years ago isn't what i necessarily you know want now mm-hmm. i think a lot of people can can feel me on that mm-hmm. and i think you know once you have kids you kind of and and once you're a husband too really you kind of have to um make different sacrifices and think of how to incorporate um everybody's dream but essentially you know my vision for music is to be big enough so that you know the people around me can Ease off of what they're doing with the nine to five and focus. Like on you can support them. What their passions are. Okay. Yeah. So I like right that. On. I like that a lot. Yeah, I feel like I believe in myself that much. Yeah. You got yeah, to, dude. You yeah. have to. Yeah. Right, exactly. You got to dream big. Yeah. And from what I've heard so far, dude, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I really can. It's a quarterback right here. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel the internet <coughs> has impacted internet, social media, impacted the industry? Stupid, bro. I mean, insane. Like, people where people had to really dig and, and go out and find records. Mm-hmm. Now it's just like at the tip of your, uh, your fingers, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I want to say it's an, it's, it's a, a positive for me because I feel like when you're an artist that has so much um, content you want to release, um, social media would be a great a great way for you to network that and to get it out. Okay. Um, is that is that that's what yeah. you asked? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm kind of I kind of want to steer away from music. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about your family. Okay. So you said you had you, you have a wife. You have yeah. kids. How many kids do you have? Um, I have three kids. Ages. Um, ages 11, ages 9, and a 2-year-old. Two 2-year-old? Two yeah. How do you like being a father? Oh, man. Your father, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Robert's a daddy. But. <laughs> so, like, you're a daddy. Only in Texas. That's the <laughs> song. <laughs> Dang, you're getting close to teenage years. Yeah. You yeah, a, close. Your oldest boy or girl? Boy. Yeah. So, he'll be turning 13. Um, pretty soon, and he reminded me of that today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
it's by saying it or by doing something stupid? No. Oh. <laughs> no, he was just like, I'm going to be 13 pretty soon. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, oh, I don't know. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. My birthday's coming up. Just letting you know my birthday's coming up. Yeah. But I don't know. Being a, I love being a dad. I think it's one of those things that you're not ever, you're not ever ready for. Mm-hmm. You're never prepared for. There's no book. There's no certain guideline, you know, on how to be a dad. It's just what do you do when you're in that role, you know? I like yeah, that a so, lot. Yeah. yeah. No, you'll never be ready. You always just have to kind of just jump in and mm-hmm. get ready. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's tight. That's tight. I've been pulling it back to music. What are your greatest achievements that you would say in your music career? My greatest things, things that stand out, things that you're proud of. Um, I think um, as far as music goes, I think meeting my wife um, is an accomplishment in itself because not too many people know that, but she is an artist. Um, and I she, didn't know yeah, that. so she used to do live music. Um, oh, really? There's that spot over here. She used to perform at Jazzy's. Yeah. Um, back before when, before they closed. Um, so she used to run with the local band in town. And I think that's an achievement in itself because I feel like I haven't had yet to pick her brain about you uh, musically. Um, and I just think, like, I've heard her sing live before. And not a whole lot of people, um, at least in my family, have witnessed that. But it's like one of the most captivating things. Wow. And so um, I think, yeah, having her or meeting her and being able to, um, yeah, I still, we still haven't even grazed the surface of what we can do musically together. Um, But yeah, whether we work on music or not, I think that's probably the biggest achievement that that's awesome. I've ran into. So far. So you got that album dropping. What else can we expect from you from your next moves? Oh, man. Um, so many music videos. I want to tap in um, you know, with so many visuals. Um, I do. So I know we're probably going to tap into this but um, a little later, but we do have a business, um, Trashy, um, which is also a clothing line that we want to break into. Um, but I want to drop more merch, um, with that. Um, I don't know, man. I just, all the goals that, um, I want to set this year, I just want to attack them. Nice. Um, yeah, I guess that's what you can expect. Just more, more visuals, more music. Um, just more of me being transparent as an artist. Um, I feel like that's what y'all deserve, at least. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> do you want to Do you want to talk about your business? Yeah, we can talk about it. What do you want to know about it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you do? Um, what's the name of your business and, and um, just things like that? Trashy junk removal. Um, we do. You know, we're kind of slow right now, as you can see. But um, yeah, basically, we cover all of Southern Utah with junk removal. We do do it all, bro. We do clean outs, residential, commercial. Okay. Um, yard work, maintenance, everything. Okay. If you guys are too lazy, hit them up. Yes, yeah. sir. That's how, can they, how, how can they contact you? Um, hit my, you guys can hit my direct line. My direct line is coming out there. Um, 435-319-7101. Call for a free estimate. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, very affordable. We'll work with you. The stuff for some quotes. Trust me. Oh, like yeah. that, like that. And we don't charge hourly. We charge uh, by the by the load. There you go. Uh, we work till the job's done. Oh! Trashy. We work till the mm-hmm. job's done. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but we appreciate having you on here, Mona. Y'all check out Mons, Prince Mons, Nice <laughs> Paul. You know what this is. Yes, sir. Keep your eyes out. He's going to drop some stuff here soon. Thanks Thank for you guys joining for us. Me. We'll catch y'all next time. All right. <laughs>